Kayla with LearnWire here, and today we are going to go over Witty AI. Witty is an AI program that will help supercharge your brainstorming sessions and help with any content creation blocks. It will quickly gather and model ideas, aspects, and information related to any topic, and it will help you get faster cognitive closures on your chain of thought. Witty is going to be a great alternative to Miro and Mural, and is going to be best used by content creators, freelancers, and project managers. Witty was helped founded by Darshan, and Darshan is pretty active on the AppSumo website. They seem to respond to most, if not all, of the questions, as well as both of the reviews. There are two different licensing plans that you can get. Plan one for $49 includes all features. You can have up to 10 active boards, 10 exports per month, and you get unlimited live collaboration with up to 10 people. Plan two for $98 includes up to 25 active boards, 100 exports per month, unlimited live collaboration with 50 people, and you can generate an explainer video. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. So right away, as we enter the witty dashboard, it brings us straight to the brainstorming agents. These are essentially going to be base templates for what you want to brainstorm. So we've got a sci-fi story, we've got an ebook idea, we've got a digital magazine, and then we also have a blank board. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this blank board. Right away, it prompts us to input a starting thought. So we'll do how to grow a successful YouTube channel. So this is our starting thought. We want to know how to become a successful YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and get this brainstorming session started. We can have the AI analyze this prompt simply by clicking it and then clicking on this analyze button right here. So it came up with a few different starting points. We want to collab with other YouTubers. We want to engage with our audience. We want consistent content creation. We need to optimize for the search and we need to utilize analytics. So maybe I want to see what some of the drawbacks are for collaborating with other YouTubers, right? I can click on it and go ahead and hit this counter and it will give me counter arguments for why I shouldn't collaborate with other YouTubers. And the results it gave me is risk of diluting your brand, effective collaboration may be difficult and dependence on external factors, all of which are very valid concerns. Now we have our counters, right? All right? So maybe I want to see some examples of the risk of diluting my brand, right? By collaborating with other YouTubers. I can go ahead, click on that, and it will have a give examples button. So let's see it contemplate. And we have some examples of misalignment in brand values and collaboration with conflicting content. So these are some examples of diluting our brand. Right. So maybe we wanted to explain why diluting our brand is a risk of collaborating with others. We can hit this explain why. Now we just have risk of brand dilution again, and it kind of goes in a little bit more as to why that's a bad thing. Now we can have it explain how risk of diluting brand through collaboration. Okay. Now let's have it find some alternatives. We are way up here. Now we can find some alternatives by maintaining brand consistency through brand deals and diversifying content instead of collaboration. So it's given us some really good things to think about, specifically on collaborating with other YouTubers. You know, it gave us some good ideas. It gave us some bad ideas. It gave us a little bit more explanation on why we might or might not want to collaborate with other people. Now, right away, one thing I'm noticing, if I want to expand something on here, or if I have a question about the risk of diluting the brand or whatever, and I click on it, the little menu isn't popping up. In some cases, I would click on, say, this one, and the little menu would pop up right over here. Additionally, it's really hard to kind of scroll through these stickies because see, notice how this one has like a little scroll wheel. I can't scroll with my mouse because it just zooms in and out. And here, I can't highlight any of this text with my mouse. So that's not super intuitive with mouse movements and highlighting and say I want to copy and paste this. I don't know if that's by design 
or if it's just an overlook, but already I'm not a huge fan of that and I definitely think that could use some work. Now let's head back to our base thought and we have the option to converge together. Now this just kind of gave us more ideas as to how to make this work per se. All right, so let's go back to our main idea and let's explore some similarities here. Finding the similarities, it just kind of gave us more of the same of over here. We have, yep, consistent upload schedule, consistent content creation, engage with the audience, engage with your audience. So the analyze and find similarities features seem to be about the same, but let's try exploring some differences. Okay, yeah, it's just more of the same. Engage with your audience, optimize your videos. So all of these features just seem to be more of the same of steps to how you can do it. I guess it's not even like additional steps on how to grow a successful YouTube channel. It's just the same five steps or so reordered and reworded into a different way. I don't know if I'm missing something. Maybe I'm totally misunderstanding what the point of these options are. It just seems like it's repeating the same thing over and over and over again, which if it is just doing the same thing can be just the one button. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of is I can't seem to get this to flip. It's all just kind of on this side, so it's a little messy on the layout. They're all just kind of, it started off fine when I just had the one and it kind of went up and up and up, right? But it just keeps pushing things off to the side and I could add them up and down, but I do want to add some stuff off to the left, right? But we won't dally on that for too long. I wish I could analyze the collaborate with other YouTubers thing, but it's really not letting me. Maybe if I, yeah, it's really not pulling up that menu. So that's really unintuitive, but Let's go ahead and add our goal. So we want our end goal. I see that feature is not yet available. They are working on it. All right, so can't add an end goal just yet. That is an upcoming feature. Now we can change some of these macros right here. We can add some custom ones and we can do so by clicking this black button up here with a little writing hand and it looks like a die. So we can click on that and this will have all of the macros. So we have nine macros on this board right now. We can also create our own new macro right here. And there are some user created macros that you can look at and use right here. So we have, for example, break this down into ordered tasks. We have materials used, we have quotes, example, title. So if you're looking through this and you see a macro that might be useful to you, you can go ahead and use that. Let's use this. We can click on the little cart for use and it failed to add the prompt to it. Okay, maybe the task breakdown failed to add prompt macro to the board. Okay, I don't know if this is just a broken feature or maybe because I'm using a demo, it's just not letting me do it, but I am not able to use these user created macros to my board. We will just play it off as I can't because I'm just using the free version. Okay, moving on. Now, say we're collaborating with a bunch of people and we all wanna hop into a group call and talk about our ideas in a voice call. The good thing is that Witty does offer a live collaboration feature right here. It does have, it looks like there are some issues that are being fixed, but you can send this link to any of your collaborators, hit start live collaboration, and you can start a live voice chat. So you can talk to people right here. You don't need to download Discord or Skype or what have you. You can do it all right here in the app itself. So we do have the option to change the display on some of these. So say we just wanna see these titles up here. We can hit this yellow button and hit the quick switch theme and it will change from this kind of detailed explanation to just that top title. So if you just want some easy steps, you can have just those easy steps. You don't need the entire breakdown and the entire explanation of 
each step. And you can also change the layout. So we have left to right, we could do top to bottom, or there is the circular, or there is the radial option. This section is currently under construction, so you can't change a whole lot of the visual appearance. It looks like you can pretty much just do the quick switch theme, but everything else seems to be coming soon. Now, say I'm happy with my graph. I like the steps. It gave me all of the information I need. I'm super content with this. I can go ahead and export it by clicking on this orange button right here. I can export this as a text document or as an SVG document, or I can do a multimedia export with AI, and I can export this as a poster, as an ebook, a magazine, website, or a video reel. Let's have this just as a poster. Now we have the short name for the URL, we have the target audience, and the creator display name. And we can also decide if we want it to be an auto templating or manual. We'll have this just be YouTube. Target audience is everyone. And the creator display name, we'll have it be auto templating because I'm a little curious as to how it will go. So it's been about 10 minutes. This poster still has not been generated. It said that it would take one to two minutes. It's not. So let's just do a text document. And this is what we have. I actually really like this. It comes with, you know, the headers and then the kind of details of each of the little sections right here. So we can export this as a PDF, HTML, or Markdown. We'll do PDF, export it, and it has been exported. Now say we need to see kind of a history on this board. We want to see when it was started or when what was added. Maybe something doesn't make sense and we just need to know when it was added. We can click on this little hourglass down here and it will pull up a timeline as to when everything was added. Now this one is still undergoing development, so it's not fully fleshed out, but this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Now there is a little tab for the boards, but I've had this sit for 10 minutes and nothing would load. So I don't know if this is an upcoming feature that's being worked on or if this is a bug, but we will continue on. Now next there's a little section for any compositions. So any posters we might have made or anything like that will show up here. And I wanted to show the compositions page, but this has been loading for a solid 10 minutes. So I assume this is where they will show up listed. They are just not showing up now. Again, don't know if this is just a future implementation or what's going on here. And same thing seems to be happening with channels. One thing that's really cool is there is the witty verse. So here is the Wittyverse. This is going to be a bunch of other people's creations and what they've made with Witty. So you can take a look and see what they've made. We have Being an Ant, we have Astronomy Insights, Modern Art, things like that. So we can go in and see other people's creations and get some inspiration for ours. In its current state, I would probably give Witty a 2.8. There were a number of features that were either under development or just simply weren't working. And trying to look at the text in the little post-it notes was very unintuitive. I was not a huge fan of it. There is definitely potential for it, but I couldn't export as a poster and it wasn't showing up. And these things on the side, they wouldn't do anything. They would just load for minutes upon minutes upon minutes at a time. Now, it is possible that it's just because I'm using the free trial version, but if it is because I'm using the free trial version, it's not a very good trial because I'm not really able to see everything that's available and I'm not getting a good idea of what can be seen. If you have any questions or comments, put them below in the comment section. And as always, I will see you next time. Goodbye.